Issues of Life TV. Issues of Life TV. Guard your heart. Guard your heart. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Issues of Life TV. This is where we look at life from a godly perspective. And my name is Bola. Thanks for joining us today. So, hmm, something happened last week. I got a ticket. I was driving to work, listening to gospel music, and I was just enjoying the song. And by the time you know it, there was a police lady that came around and said I was going 97 kilometer per hour in a 60 kilometer per hour world. I was shocked. I said, how? I didn't know. I'm so sorry. But guess what? That doesn't count. Once you break the law, you break the law. So she was nice enough to give me a reduced ticket. And there are some things that she said that the Lord was using to speak to me. So she said, well, actually, you have been on my radar. I was like, oh, really? I had no idea. And then she was like, oh, by the time I looked back your record, I saw that you had a speeding ticket some years back. I was like, years back? I totally forgot about those speeding tickets. So I just want to share with you some of the things that the Lord taught me through that experience, as painful as it was, because I had to, I had a, <laughs> a ticket that I still have to pay. But in everything, there is always something that God is teaching us, right? So one thing that the Lord spoke to me about is many times we we are so quick to forget our past sin and then we end up falling back into it. What do I mean by that? So let me just read what I have here. Many times we have to learn to learn obedience through the things that we suffer, right? And the longer it takes us to learn, the more we will end up finding ourselves getting in the same trouble because God is trying to teach us a lesson. Even Jesus had to learn obedience through the things he suffered. And in my case, I totally forgot that I had a ticket, a speeding ticket in the past. If I've learned my obedience through that first suffering, I would have been very careful with my driving and making sure that I don't go back to my vomit of driving fast. How does that apply to us spiritually? Many times we forget the sacrifice that Jesus made on the cross for us. And that we are so quick to go back to our vomit. We forget how bad we were, how wretched we were before Jesus came and paid the price, paid the ticket, right? And we feel like, oh, I'm free now. I can, I am okay now. But then we are back to making the same mistake. And then the devil is there waiting to accuse us. Oh, this was the same girl you saved from this. But look, she's back to the same mistakes. We say that we have repented, but we have truly not turned away from our sinful ways. We have not turned to God. Another lesson is that we shouldn't blame God for our fleshy desires. In another way to put it, we shouldn't blame God for our stupidity. <laughs> you know, at that point, I was like, for God, I was listening to gospel music. But it's like, yeah, there is time and season for everything. At the end of the day, we, we make choices, right? Every choice that we make, there is always a consequence, either good or bad. Whatever you sow, you shall reap. If you sow disobedience, then you reap curse, according to Deuteronomy chapter 29. If you sow obedience, then you will reap blessings. But many times we are too busy blaming God, even blaming the devil, when we have to look inward and see that, oh, perhaps I need to put the flesh, the flesh needs to die. So we have to be careful about that. Another thing that the Lord was putting in my heart was like, the lady said, very sweet policeman, police lady rather, she was like, well, you actually be on my way, Dad. You know, many times we feel like we can get away with things and forgetting that God is omnipresent, is everywhere, and he sees everything. And we feel like, oh, we can easily reduce the speed limit because we now saw the police man or police woman. But the thing is, when it comes to spiritual things, God is always there. He sees us all the time. There is nothing hidden from him, right? He watches and he sees 
everything. He sees our heart. He sees our thoughts. He sees beyond what other people can see. We can deceive ourselves, but we cannot deceive God. So we have to be aware that nothing is hidden from God. And we have to live with the consciousness of the presence of God. That God is with us and he sees every, every little thing. And then another lesson that the Lord put in my heart was that the woman said, she went back, the police lady, she went back and she found out that I have half feeding tickets, which I totally have forgotten about it. And then, and that just kind of makes me to feel like she probably considered that before giving me a ticket perhaps she thought well this lady she has not learned a lesson oh that reminds me she was like well you know you have to learn your lesson that's the way she said it and right there you know god was speaking to me that do we actually learn our lessons you know when god teaches us something are we do we learn from it or do we go back to it like you know the Bible says the one that he loves, he chastises, And he chastises us to correction, not to condemnation. So when God chastises us, are we willing to accept and learn from that chastisement and turn away from that habit that is trying to correct us from? Or we are so quick to go back. So she was like, you need to learn. So meaning that the first time I got the spirit ticket, actually I had not really learned. I forgot. I have, you know, I've, I've re relaxed. I've become so, you know, in a place of, in a peaceful place. I've totally forgotten, you know, how I was, how God saved me from that ticket or how I was, how I was in that punishment. And another thing that was just putting in my heart right now is just like the Israelites. They forgot so soon how God saved them from the, from the, from the hands of Pharaoh. And now they went back to sinning against God. Even in the book of Judges, you will see how, you know, every time, these people, they will turn away from God and God will send someone to, to attack them or to, to, to um, punish them in a way. And then they will cry out to God and God will show them mercy and then they will go back again. So it's just like the same thing. Are we like that in our walk with God? Are we like yo-yo Christians? Are we actually like living a life of holiness and saying no to sin? Are we in a place where we are we are at ease in Zion and we are not even thinking about the consequences of our sin. Are, are we getting to the place where we are, we are not moved, we are not grieved by sin anymore? So that was another thing that the Lord was putting in my heart when she said there was a past record of mine. I have a record of past speeding tickets. And then the final lesson that the Lord was teaching me from this experience is that thank God that God does not keep record of our past. Because if the Lord begins to dig things out and begins to play all the things that we have done in the past, I mean, how many of us are going to stand? None of us will be able to stand. And that is what Jesus did for us on the cross. He wiped away every record written against us, all the other offenses, all the tickets, all the tickets of our offenses that we have committed Jesus wiped it off once and for all and he gave us a new name and he gave us a new garment of righteousness. And he says that we should forgive the same way. Mm -hmm. So we ourselves, we should forgive just as he has forgiven us. And what, what does that mean? We shouldn't keep record of other people's wrongs. We shouldn't keep record of other people's offenses towards us because love does not keep record of evil. So that's all I have to share for today. These are some of the lessons that came to mind and I pray that it's been a blessing to you as well. Just like I was saying, thank God that we have Jesus who wipes away our past record. You might be listening to this and you have a lot of guilt upon your shoulder. These are the things that you have done in the past. And you are wondering, is there, if can God really forgive me? Can God really wipe this out of my life? Well, yes, he can. He is so loving. He's so merciful. All he's asking is for you to repent. You know, once he pays the ticket, he wants you to turn away from that sinful habit and turn to him because you need to turn to him so that he can help you to overcome all the time the temptation to sin. So for you to turn to God, 
is to say this after me and say, Lord Jesus, please forgive me for all my sins. For I know that I'm a sinner and I have, I have, may, I've made so many mistakes in, in my life. I have so many records against me. But Lord, I believe that you are my Lord and Savior and you are able to wipe away all my sins by your precious blood. I accept you as my Lord and Savior. I want to know you more. I want to be closer to you. Please reveal yourself to me and fill me with your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. With that prayer by faith, you are now born again. So prayerfully find a Bible-believing church where you can begin to grow and learn of God and get some fellowship because this journey you need we need each other amen amen so that's it for today thank you for listening god bless you until next time don't forget to share this video comment down below subscribe like god bless you until next time bye issues of life tv